Chloe, do you... Not yet. Likewise. Violet, are you sure the tip is good? You can never be sure, but it seems solid. We'll just have to wait. I'm sure they'll show up sooner or later. Just remember, don't engage on your own. These streets are like a maze. It'll take time to get to you. All right. Just be quick once it starts. I'll do my best, but half the streets are blocked off, and we can't run on rooftops like you can. Okay, okay. I'll wait for you, slowpoke. Can I go back to the base? I'm sure you two can handle it. We don't know what exactly we are dealing with, so it's all hands on deck. Everyone has to risk their skin from time to time. Even you, Kurt. I'm fine with the risk, but it's so fucking boring. Just go play on your phone or something and shut up. I can't focus with all this noise. Eh, I don't play mobile games. Okay, I'm not listening to your bickering anymore. Over and out. Lucky you. Over and out. Alex, wake up! I'm talking to you. We can see that. <laughs> Did we interrupt another designing epiphany of yours? Yeah, we're gonna clock out and go to that new club and wind down a little. Did you want to come along? Come on, I can tell you need it just by looking at you. I know you've never learned about the whole work-life balance thing, but trust me. You really need this. I guess there's no way I can convince you, huh? Well, I'm holding you to that for next time, then. Pinky promise. All right, then. See you tomorrow. You bet we are. Those bonuses aren't going to earn themselves. And we need to do some final sanity checks before we wrap up the project. <laughs> You're not the only one, but... We'll power through it. Just don't plan on us being here at 9 a.m. sharp. Yeah, we'll make it work. Gotta do what we gotta do, right? Thanks. We'll need it. See you later, Alex. Catch on the flip side. You can pick and choose as many as you'd like. 
choice of stock was never the problem, but I must admit, young, smart, healthy, and at the same time so eager to throw their lives away, just me. So, are you saying that you're impressed? I'm not that easily impressed, but certainly. Thank you, Master. About... We'll discuss the reward later. Now, I want to... Of course, Master. Pick whoever you want. Nice catch. Which one would you like to try? The girl. Today I want something tender. Of course. She will be in the lounge momentarily. Hello? Welcome. I'm glad you accepted my invitation. What's happening to me? So, how do you like my club? Yes. Do you like it? <sighs> it's perfect. Are you all right? You're breathing rather heavily. Uh, it's just hot in here. You didn't spike my drink, right? I would never do anything of the sort. If you don't feel well, we could call you a cab, or an ambulance if it's serious. Uh, no, I... I can leave on my own. I... I just... need to cool down a bit.
is it? I didn't notice. Perhaps there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Here, why don't I help? Fuck. He's handsome. Did it help? A little. <laughs> if you want more, you'll have to give me your name. You first. You already know my name. Oh, I do? You must have forgotten. That's okay. Perhaps you were distracted. My name is Virgil. Uh, uh Amy. <laughs> so, Miss Amy, do you want me to cool you off some more? Yes, please, pull me off more. All right, then. Amy? Good girl. Excuse me, I'm lost, and this place doesn't seem safe. Could you help me get downtown?
<laughs> I love when the blood bags scream. Nothing makes blood tastier than desperation. But don't waste your breath. No one is coming to save you. It... Although I must admit you impressed me with your bravado. You're stronger than most humans. Maybe I could spare you and turn you into my slave thrall. I guess that depends on how tasty you are. It's over. Just accept it. them off. me to kill you!
<laughs> I love when my prey realizes they're no match for me. That look of fear on their face, the moment before they start begging for their lives, is my favorite thing. Now, usually I remain deaf to their pleas. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I like how you look, especially that juicy body of yours. So I'm willing to spare you and make you into my servant, but you must drop on your knees and start begging. Now! I'll never beg. And I'm not done yet. I still have a lot of fight in me, and even a few tricks. <laughs> I like you. I really do. I love when your mouth says one thing, and your eyes say something entirely different. I'm going to enjoy making you accept your inferiority. I forgot about you. Oh, you had your chance to escape, and you fucked it up. Now then, I don't need you alive anymore. I found myself a better trophy. Oh, you humans sure love to waste your lives, don't you? Thank you. Oh, but you should have run while you had a chance. I'm sure you've already figured it out, but you can't believe it. <sighs> yeah, it's funny how people never seem to believe it, even though they've seen it firsthand, fangs and all. You could call me that, but I'm also... A vampire myself. But 
don't worry. I fight against other vampires to protect ordinary people like you. Or at least I've tried. Backup's on the way, but they'll probably take longer than this door can last. Plus, he's a lot stronger than I expected. I don't think they'd be able to do anything, especially without me. There is something you could do, but I feel uneasy asking for it. I could drink your blood. Yes, it wouldn't be fatal, but it wouldn't be pleasant either. My fangs can pierce your aorta. It'll be agonizing pain. Easily the worst you've experienced in your entire life. On top of that, you will be convinced that you are dying because of rapid blood loss. I could make it easier for you. My saliva can numb your pain and give you a sense of euphoria. We would have to kiss. I understand if you want to save your first kiss for someone you love. It's okay if you don't want to do that. I wanted to be sure you know all the options. I wanted to be sure you know all the options. I wanted to be sure you know all the options. I'm Chloe, and nice to meet you, Alex. I'm going to bite you now, all right? Thank <laughs> you.
but I got carried away. Uh, are you alright? Ready for round two? I'll fucking kill you, you worthless bitch! I'm going to rip... I see you haven't learned from your mistakes. Unfortunately for you, I did. And this time, I won't let you get away, bitch! Yeah, it's finally... You should sit down. I ended up taking a lot of blood. My friends should be here any moment. We can help get you cleaned up and keep you safe for the time being, if you want. Um, otherwise, we can drop you off at the hospital. I can't blame you. I'm actually surprised at how well you coped with the whole situation. Most people would break down if the same thing happened to them. Let's go outside. It'll make it easier for my team to find us. Yeah, he's dead. Wooden stakes are effective and would definitely kill us, but that won't be necessary. Let's get out of here. Don't worry, they're with me. It's okay, he is not a threat. So, is it done? Is the vampire dead? Yes. 
thanks to him. All right then, let's pick up the body and get out of here. Are we taking him with us? It's up to him. But I strongly recommend that you come with us, at least for now. We need to make sure other vampires don't learn about this encounter. They're not the kind to leave loose ends. You also need to get checked out. If you go to an ordinary hospital with those marks on your neck, vampires will show up within an hour to finish the job. You're awake. Good morning. It's 6.40 a.m. You're in our hideout. We brought you here after you were assaulted by a vampire. Do you remember what happened? Well then, the good news is that you weren't hit by a car. <laughs> I'm Emily, by the way. You are out. Yes, and yes. I examined you while you were asleep, and I already took care of the blood loss. It's kind of my area of expertise at this point, you know, because I work with vampires and such. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she knows how grateful you are. If you're feeling better, you're free to walk around the base and, well, we have to decide what to do with you. You know, if any vampire realizes you survived the attack, they will try to find you and finish the job. So, we'd like to have you stay with us, at least until we know you're safe. We wouldn't mind if you joined us permanently, either. You seem capable, and you're... Mm, I shouldn't go into details before the meeting. Since Violet, our security specialist, would get angry, we had to learn how to safeguard ourselves from vampires. That's why we built this base. But it's best if you see it for yourself. Feel free to explore the base, talk with everyone, and get some food. You're at home here, unless you have any further questions. I'm afraid so. You can forget about the running water or garlic. They can't turn into a mist or a bat. There are many other inconsistencies, but let's leave this conversation for another time, okay? I kinda got used to it, but yes, I would love to take it still. If you have any burning questions, then shoot. Curious about your mysterious savior, huh?
And they are often brutal killers who disregard human life. We only hunt those. <clears throat> Unfortunately, yes, most vampires either don't care about human lives or don't care enough to confront those who kill humans. Oh yes, we are her secret weapon, and we are getting better with each encounter. Still, way too often we have to let a vampire go, because we know it's out of our league. It's always heartbreaking, especially for Chloe. Maybe with you on the team, we could finally get the upper hand. But let's leave the recruitment discussion for the meeting. Do you have any more questions? Sure thing. I'm a biologist. Since I joined the team, my area of expertise has been vampires, as you can guess. I'll hold you to that. I hope you are right. Would you like to ask about something else? I'll hold you to that. Would you like to ask about something else? Sure thing. See you around. I will be in the lab if you have anything. Come in! I'm Kurt. How do you feel? You got roughed up pretty badly, didn't you? I'm the group's computer special. You know, usual hacking stuff. I also do background checks on potential candidates for our team. Maybe... Must be careful when bringing someone to our base. Oh, don't worry. If it was you, are all right. <laughs> don't worry. What happens in here stays in here. Your secret's safe with us. But you are kind of hot, so the girls might offer a nice bounty to get to. I'm just kidding. I respect your privacy. All right, I can tell I hit a nerve. I don't personally. I get a pretty good overview, but I don't find pleasure. I was mostly joking about your browsing history, though, but I suppose I went too far. Sorry about that. Let's change the subject. So, do you want to ask about something else?
If someone uploaded a video of some guy sucking someone's blood to the internet, would you believe it was a vampire? Vampires rarely leave any trace behind. Usually, they lure their victims somewhere. But sure, there were some cases. The only people who believe them are the same people who... What about it? The government, unfortunately, can't be trusted either. <laughs> no, no. It would be pretty difficult to win a... My guess is that some... It's also possible that they keep... Either way, we can't trust them. And sending a body would paint a... Because we're careful and keep... That's enough about our modus operandi. Oh, no, no, no worries. I'm just a bit of a blabbermouth. Anyways, do you want to know something else? Something that won't get my ass kicked? Oh, we took it with us. It's in the freezer. Emily will probably use it for one of her freakish experiments. I'm not sure about the specifics, but they're focused on finding more efficient ways to kill vampires. Oh, that's not a problem. I hacked into the police network, and we have live data about the position of every cop- Well, maybe not all of them, since they don't- But even if they did stop us, we have a few more tricks up ours. Now you sound like you want Violet to punch me. That's okay. Come back after you join the team and I might tell you more. Until then, I have to keep my mouth shut. But feel free to ask about something else. See you later. Huh? You should have knocked! Ugh, it's not your fault. Who let you wander around the base alone? That woman! She is comp- But it's my fault too. I shouldn't change out in the open, but I'm used to the fact no one comes here besides Chloe and me. But you are lucky you didn't see me naked! Because I would hurt you! That's why! What else could I mean? <sighs> That's all right. You had a rough night, so... I'm Violet. What are you looking for? You barely got away with your life tonight, and she is already making- Yeah, I know. I heard you fought a high-tier vampire unarmed. Even with a proper weapon. It's a death wa- Don't feel any pressure. I just said that to make sure you know what you're signing up for. We'll talk sp- It depends on your preferences. Handgun. We're just the backup. My- They all know how to fight, just in case they need to protect themselves or if something that requires all hands on deck- Don't even mention tonight. I don't think we would have made much of a difference. She risked a lot to- Me too. You seem like a good guy. It would be a waste to lose you. So? Yeah. It was crazy she managed to defeat- that's why we don't send her anywhere near high-tier vampires. But there's no need to overan- Although, I'm sure Kurt and Emily will be doing just that. Going back to the topic of combat. If you join us, 
Not only will you have access to weapons, but you'll also receive a state-of-the-art combat suit like mine and Chloe's. Indeed it does. I could tell you all about nanofibers, superpolymers, and so on, but long story short, it enhances your strength and speed, while also be it's the best thing you can get to protect- well, maybe aside from the fact it's so damn tight. You might feel a bit... exposed. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, I guess. So, that's the armory, and I'm our security specialist. Do you have any questions? Sure thing. See you at the meeting. Alex! I was looking for you. How are you? I see you're able to walk. That's good. Don't worry about me. To be honest, I haven't felt better in a long time.
Thanks. Did you meet everyone else? Don't worry about me. To be honest, I haven't felt better in a long time. I hoped we could avoid talking about that. But yes, your blood saved not only that, your blood gave me more strength than it should have. I'm not entirely sure why. I haven't drank straight from a person in a very long time. So maybe that's why. I hope I'm wrong though. That could get addictive. like that. It, it was an emergency, and we both agreed to it. I'm sure there won't be a need, need for that ever again. Oh, don't talk like you're some sort of snack or something. It's embarrassing. Oh, fine. <sighs> Did you meet everyone else? No, we are a small but well-rounded team. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Let's go to the meeting. Follow me. So, shall we start the meeting? Let me start then. First of all, I would like to thank you for your bravery, maybe, but we were all amazed. All of that makes you a perfect fit for the team. So, we, we know this isn't an easy decision, and you probably have a lot of questions. If it helps at all, we'll do our best to help you make the right decision for yourself. If you'd prefer to go home, but now that you know vamp- If it's of any consolation, encountering another vampire in your lifetime is statistically very unlikely. You won't find us in any data. And in a city of 15 million, knowing that you're looking for a blonde, a brune, and a milf wouldn't help much. A needle and a haste. <laughs> hey, I'm not a milf. I'm just joking. <laughs> if somebody really wanted to find us, they'd... Perhaps, but I'm pretty sure it's way harder to find a bra for whatever cup size that is. Guys, could we be serious for a moment? I'm sorry. We're usually... We kind of are. Especially these two. They love to poke fun at each other. Hell, I remember one time when... She's right, though. We should be more serious. Jokes are a great way to break the ice, but... This isn't a joking matter. I'm sorry. Where was I? Alex asked if we're cool with letting him go. Right. Like I said, you don't know enough about us to pose a threat, and you seem like a reasonable... Of course, we'll have to keep an eye on you. For everyone's safety, yeah. Instead of you going to the authorities, the bigger concern would be if a vampire... If they didn't, and you were captured... They might extract information about us, but if you join us, or at least stay here until it all blows over, we can keep you safe. You're welcome to use one of the rooms here at the base. I do, but most of them go home at night. Actually, I'm kind of homeless, so... <laughs> We've all stayed here on and off when we needed to stay low. Like, if a mission doesn't go to plan, and we want to ensure we haven't been compromised. Take last night, for example. We didn't have a plan, so... 
Everything ended up pretty hectic. Moreover, we don't think the vampire cloak. We have a pretty good idea about where- We'll ask the informant to get us more information about who might be heading that operation up. Nope. They think they're helping us bust a drug cartel. Vampires often have a hierarchy, similar to crime syndicates, and often are involved in shady deals. Only at night, and only until we've dealt with these guys. You can sleep at home once we're done with them, if you'd prefer. Of course, if it gets too much for you, you can leave. You'll never hear about us again. No, of course not. Yeah, think about it for a couple days, and let us know. If two days isn't enough to make the decision, then this probably isn't the life for you. Being a vampire hunter isn't all fun and games. It's a harsh and dangerous life, and nobody other than us will- You have to be ready to sacrifice a lot, for very- If you're still not sure after a couple days- I'm not saying that to scare you off, I just- Know how it goes. Deep inside, I think you already know your answer. It's decided then. Let's meet again on Sunday to hear the final decision. Sure. I'd recommend that. That way, you can focus on your tasks here. We have a sponsor who provides us with funding, so you won't have to worry about needing to maintain an income. But if you wanted to keep working, I don't see a problem with that. Actually, it might be best if you keep working there for the time being. It might come off as suspicious if you quit your job so soon after last night's incident. If somebody is trying to find you, they might put two and two together. Exactly. Plus, your office isn't far from the warehouse. If I were looking for somebody who got away, I'd start by seeing who took an unexpected day off nearby. That is, if I didn't find anything on CCTV first. But I've already wiped clean every camera in a kilometer radius. <laughs> nah, nobody checks footage if nothing happened. And I'm no amateur when it comes to stuff like this. I built an AI algorithm that generates fake CCTV footage based on footage from the previous week. After that, it's just a few clicks, and voila! Nothing happened! You'd have to really be paying attention to notice anything out of the ordinary. And even then, it'd take forever to figure out what actually happened. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Most CCTV servers are pretty vulnerable. Some even still use the default password. The process is mostly automated though. I just have to plug in some information. It took a lot of work. A lot of praiseworthy work. Yeah, yeah. Good job, kiddo. Anyway, don't quit just yet. At least, not until we get to the bottom of this. That'd be ideal. Unless you live with someone who would notice you missing. Do you have anybody like that? Boyfriend? Girlfriend? Anyone? Any family? Pets that might make a racket? Friendly neighbors? Great! Then you should sleep here. You're safe, of course. 
Yeah, I agree. It would be the safest course of action. We have a few free rooms. I could show you yours. Ten bucks says I know which room she's taking him to. <laughs> As if I'd take that bet. We all know exactly where she's going. All of these doors lead to our rooms. And this one is yours. Ta-da! It's air conditioned, it has Wi-Fi, and the sound system's pretty good. I know it looks plain right now, but you're welcome to decorate it however you'd like. I made mine pretty cozy. I can show it to you later. So, how do you like it? That's the spirit! If you need anything, more pillows, another blanket, or something, just let me know. My room is next door, so you know where to find me. Consider it done. Eight in the morning. Why? Are you sure you should go? I mean, you got pretty hurt last night. And it's Saturday. Surely you could take the day off. No, he's right. If they're expecting him in the office, then he should be there. We don't want to raise any suspicions. Come, I will give you a ride. Hmm. Here. It will have to suffice for now. Let's go. Yep. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'll definitely have a good day. Unlike you, I get to go to sleep now.
No, it's not. That informant we talked about yesterday, she told us her cover might have been blown, and we haven't heard from her since. She works at a hostess club we suspect is owned by vampires. She doesn't know that, of course, but she did warn us about the vampire that attacked you yesterday. And I'm guessing they somehow figured out they had a mole. Chloe's insisting that we extract our informant, despite my warnings that it's a suicide mission. She thinks she can do it if she feeds on you again. Long story short, she thinks your blood gave her an extra boost yesterday. Bigger boost than the regular one. Like, there's something unique about your blood. Emily ran some tests and agreed there might be some truth to that. Blame Emily, not me. I guess she can't help herself when she sees an unconscious guy. But as far as I know, she just did some basic blood tests. Either way, are you okay with Chloe taking another bite? Of course you do. Chloe would never drink your blood without your consent. Hey, don't think that way. You're not responsible for anything. We screwed up by roping that girl into this mess, and you didn't even know vampires existed until yesterday. Sure. Shoot. I don't think it's a good idea. You would be a liability. I don't like it, but if that's your condition, then fine. I'm going to cover Chloe from across the street, so you can stay with me. And you will listen to everything I say, understood? Hey, save that mommy talk for Emily. We will be there in 20 minutes. You know the drill. You're not a full-time team member yet, so, yep, you have to. Mommy's orders. The sun's gonna be down soon. Go and see Chloe in her room. I'm gonna get my gear, and we're going. Come in! I'm really sorry for that. When I fed on you yesterday, I got a lot more strength than usual. Maybe it's a coincidence, but I think there's something about your blood. It's an emergency, and somebody's life is on the line. I know it's a big ask, but could I feed on you again? Thank you. Are you okay with another kiss? don't have much time. I hope it's enough to prevent you from feeling any pain. Me too. 
too. Mm, maybe we could do it again when we have some more time? should be enough. Thank you, Alex. I'm sorry about being so aggressive and about flooding you with my saliva. I've heard that it goes away with practice, but I honestly don't want to find that out. I mean, I don't think I'll need to do it very often. Like, I shouldn't need to. Uh... Oh, right. The mission. I have to go. I'm sorry. You are? Oh. We are here. Are you sure you're up to the task? You're not feeling dizzy after Chloe drank your blood? Okay, let's go. Chloe will head inside, and you'll go with me across the street. We'll cover her from the rooftop. Don't worry about me. We will be in constant radio contact and you will be able to see the feed from my body cam. You're the one who insisted on coming here. Like you said, you're only here in case Chloe needs more blood. I really hope it doesn't come to that. Enough chit-chat. We need to hurry. Every minute counts. Alex, follow me. On second thought, you go first. Focus, Alex. On a mission, you always need to be focused. Push your fears and the background noise to the back of your mind. Only think about the task at hand. Boot up the tablet and see what Chloe's up to. I'm going to get the rifle set up. Are you in? Almost. Are you guys ready? Alex? Is everything all right? ready when you are. Kurt, you looked at the camera feed already, right? Yep, you should be fine, unless I screwed up somewhere. If all's well, nobody will be the wiser. A simple yes is sufficient, Kurt. <sighs> Which room is she in? Got it. This isn't a video game. You can't detect heat signatures through the walls. 
There's a sensor on Chloe's suit that scans her surroundings and feeds the data to the computer in my scope. It processes that data and shows me a 3D model of her surroundings. It's not perfect. It's very jittery when she's moving, but at short distances like this, it's good enough. No problem, but let's stay focused on our task, all right? I'm going in. Roger that. Ooh, we appear to have a guest. We were waiting for you. <laughs> Let her go! Wow, this one's feisty. We all let her go, but first you must answer our questions. We have nothing. Don't be ridiculous. Well, and maybe... Chloe, stop moving around so much if you can. I can't get a clear shot because the picture is too wobbly. Who sent you? Why are they metal? You're not getting anything from me. So we... Uh, I suppose... Tell us who you... I have a clean shot. I'm not here to negotiate. Do it! Huh? Do what? What are you... <laughs> he broke my arm. What, what the hell? Since when was Chloe that fast? They are gone. We need to scram. I fed the wrong address to the police, so you should be able to get away without a problem. I will grab the girl and come to you. Get the car ready. Sure thing. Let's go, Alex. What the hell was that, Chloe? They <laughs> I'm Yeah, you said that before, but... I think the boost I got this time was even stronger than the last time. It felt like nothing could stop me. Their moves felt slow and their attacks weak. I never felt... I will definitely have to run more in-depth tests on both of... I need to find out what biological reactions are occurring here that's making this happen. Yes. After the meeting... Well then... Yes. You don't understand. My needles have to be covered in silver. Otherwise, my super fast healing prevents blood from being pulled. And you can't imagine how unpleasant it is. It's like being pierced by a hot red needle. Don't worry, she's exaggerating a little bit. It only takes a few moments to pull blood. Yeah, she is just afraid of needles. <laughs> she's probably trying to act all cute in front of the new handsome addition to the team.
Wait, so it's confirmed? Alex is joining the team? I assume so. He already feels like a full-fledged team member. Yeah, he is still rough around the edges. Most people would have a breakdown if they... Though, he does ask a lot, but maybe wait until after the mission next time. I also wouldn't mind if he... Yes, we know that. Come on, guys! Stop bull... So, what do you think, Alex? Do you want to join us? Clean the city of evil? Welcome to the team. Yeah, I've already ran an extensive background check on you. You're good to go. I'll still keep an eye on you, though. Hey, you're making Chloe jealous. <laughs> Seriously, guys, stop bullying me. Enough is enough. Wow. I'm surprised Emily harassed someone else. For Don't listen to them. I'm not that bad. You'll see. Soon enough. Welcome to the team. You are suffocating him. I'm glad you joined. I'm sure you will be a great addition to the team. Let's take a photo. No one's joined us in over a year. Say Camembert. Wait, what? Hey, I wasn't ready. Too bad. I don't believe in redos. Oh, come on. I probably look silly. <laughs> I definitely hope so. responsible for this club's success, so I should be the one managing it. You wanted to discuss something? Ahem. <clears throat> yes, sir. I assumed that I would be the one managing the club. I've worked very hard to make it as successful as it is right now. Ah, no. Its success is the result of your efforts. I appreciate all you've done so far. Then why? Why what? Why did you give the club to someone else? I'm not feeling very appreciated at all. Patience is a virtue. It's surprisingly easy to achieve quick success, but it's rare for someone to be successful, over and over. I need to make sure you're truly talented, and that this wasn't just a fluke. But more- I need to know that I can trust you. Sir, I'm loyal. How can you even doubt that? You misunderstand. I believe you're loyal, but I also believe you're very ambitious and will stop at nothing to achieve your personal goals. I truly appreciate your ambition. I really do. But your biggest aspiration should be serving me. I only reward those who prove to me that their goals are secondary to mine. If you're truly ready to give up your own goals for my sake, then you'll be rewarded beyond your wildest dreams.
Provided your results remain consistent, of course. But all I see right now in your eyes is that selfish pride of yours. You must free yourself of that and show me there's nothing more important to you than me. He's so fucking full of himself. I'd quit if I could. It's all up to you. So, what will it be? In other words, either I give up my ambitions and prostrate myself in front of him, which is humiliating, or I keep my pride and never get the satisfaction of overseeing something I built from the ground up. Sir, you know how devoted I am to you. Of course, sir. I will do anything to exceed your expectations and prove that I'm worthy of your trust. Sir, you know how devoted I am to you. Yes, I'm ambitious and prideful, but it's only for your sake. I'm here to spread your influence to the best of my abilities. But if you need me to drop that pride in front of you, I'll do it without question. Just say the word. Hmm, fine. Demonstrate to me how you would drop your pride. Fuck. I'd hoped he would be satisfied with just the declaration. Uh, of course. At least look at me while I'm trying to prove my loyalty to you. Sir, I'm your most faithful servant. I would never betray you. Your goals are my goals, and I'm ready to sacrifice my own life for you should you need me to. Please, believe me. I I'll do whatever it takes. The only thing I see in your eyes is contempt and fear, not devotion. You're such a disappointment. No, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's... It's, it's just hard to overcome my pride. But I want to. Then prove it. Throw away your pride in front of me. How if I told you what to do, then the act itself would lose its meaning. So I'll leave it to your imagination. Bastard. You may leave now. I believe you're on the right path to becoming the perfect servant. Please, take a seat. Don't worry, it only looks scary. We'll figure that out as we go. Are you in a hurry? Yes, I can see that. All right, let's begin. So, 
Chloe told me she felt... Did you eat something out of the ordinary? Any medications? Anything unusual? Are you sure? You didn't sleep much last night, either. Mm-hmm. Mm, good to know. Anything else? Hmm. Are you sure? Liar. Chloe already told me that the kiss between you two was pretty and... Mm hmm Was it because she wasn't fully suited up yet? Hmm? Did you enjoy the view? <laughs> Let me check your... My, my. Hmm. Yes, I can see. Don't worry. <laughs> Breathe deeply. Like this. No, 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 no. You're breathing too qu- Is this how you felt yesterday? Oh, so you were even more tense. My, my. What did this girl do to you? Was it because Chloe was- even closer. So, is this what it felt? You can be honest with me, Alex. It'll be our little secret. Alrighty, I think you're ready. Let's check your blood. That's it, you're free to go. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. I have a theory, and I didn't think I'd get the results I was looking for if I told you what I was doing. That your arousal might enhance the properties of your blood. I figured it might be the case when Chloe described that you were pretty aroused during the last feeding. Oh, don't worry about it. Chloe's pretty oblivious. She didn't notice anything at all. I just put two and two together when she described what happened during the last feeding. Normally, I would make sure you don't mind. Good to know. I'll note it down in your medical file. Alrighty then, you're free to go. Get some sleep, it's been a long day. I'll probably pull an all-nighter to figure out what's so special about your blood. I'm sure it could, but my curi- Aside from that cute face of yours, of course.
Me? Sure. Her? <laughs> I bet she already ran a marathon and is on her third meal of the day. Hello, Alex. Yeah. Nope, I just like it this way. You know, my job requires a lot of focus, and I've read that a high sugar diet is advised if you need to stay intensely concentrated for a long time. Every hacker I know eats a lot of sugar. I can understand the high sugar diet, but you go to such extremes that I bet your blood has turned into maple syrup. Aw, does that mean you think I'm sweet? You can't even imagine. His taste buds are beyond repair. He loves all sorts of bizarre combinations. Fries dipped in a milkshake? Check. Peanut butter and pickles? Sure, why not? Sushi and chocolate? Been there, done that. Basically, whenever you see a post on the internet about some weird food combination, you can be sure Kurt will try to shove it in his mouth. Hey, when you phrase it like that, it sounds kind of weird. For crying out loud, Kurt, you drink orange juice after brushing your teeth because you- Okay, maybe I go overboard sometimes, but trust me, cereal with orange juice is actually delicious. Wanna try? See? You shouldn't judge the book by its cover. <sighs> I can't believe this. It wasn't me. I can barely remember to wash my own. Don't look at me. Hmm. Only Chloe and Emily weren't sleeping. And Emily was busy all night. So, the answer is pretty obvious. Aha. Uh -huh. As expected of a true detective. You don't need detective skills to figure it out. A functioning brain is enough. Did you know Violet used to be a detective? It was only for two years. Let's not talk about that. Ah, uh, you're such a spoiled sport. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Yeah, she's still up. Have some breakfast, and we can go to the lab. Emily wants to brief us on her findings. Good morning, Alex. How was your night? You get used to sleeping underground. You can trust me on that. <laughs> Don't worry, we already know. So, what did you find? So, I'm glad you're already embarrassed, Chloe because it will only get worse. <coughs> Alex's blood indeed has some unique effects on vampires. It's too early to say what biological mechanism makes Chloe's body so much stronger, but I found what in Alex's blood might be activating it. I was able to isolate a few unknown hormones in Alex's blood, Nothing concrete yet, but I still have some more tests I need to run to get the whole picture. But it seems that their levels are correlated with the amount of oxytocin in the blood, so it's likely also being produced by the hypothalamus.
oxytocin? Like that drug? You're thinking of that brand of oxycodone, the pain medication they give you when you don't respond to normal pain relief methods. That's something different. I compared Alex's blood tests from when he first arrived to when I drew them again yesterday. There was a high correlation between the levels of those unknown hormones and the oxytocin in Alex's blood. On Friday, both of those levels were low, and yesterday, they were both through the roof. Therefore, we can assume that the same stimulus activates the production of both. So what triggers the production of oxytocin? As you know, oxytocin, the hormone, is often referred to as the love hormone. Wait, no way. Guys, what did you do yesterday? So that's how it works. How does she apply it? How did she use her saliva, hmm? Did you kiss, or was it something more serious? Hey, Kurt, cut it. Enough is enough. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to... Of course. Again, I'm really sorry, Chloe. Comparing the two samples, however, I noticed something else. The first night, you had much higher levels of adrenaline, so it's possible that it could block the production of oxytocin and therefore the other hormones. In other words, if you're in danger, your blood will not have the same power, regardless of arousal status. I'm sorry, I should add that arousal isn't the only thing that can raise oxytocin levels. Uh, hugging, petting, that can do it too. Of course, sexual intercourse will provide the highest levels. We can group these all into emotional bonding. Like I said, I'm still not sure how much of an effect adrenaline has. As we know, correlation does not always imply causation. But I would guess both are true to some degree. Adrenaline affects it negatively, and emotional bonding affects... Finally, I will note that our sample size is still too low to come to any meaningful conclusion. I'll continue my research and let everybody know if I find something new. But for now... Me too. If you give me a key, I can grab those for you. Don't forget that Violet used to be a detective. If she gets into your apartment alone, she's gonna find out all your dirty secrets. You know full well I wouldn't touch anything he wouldn't want me to touch. No problem. Jeez, oh, I really need to reorganize this freezer. Everything's so mixed up. Oh well, it's been five weeks already. What's another day? Huh? Did any of you do that? Oh. Was that the mouse? Mm, 
I must be seeing things. I really should get some sleep. He's probably fucking someone as usual. Well, I feel like I'm about to collapse. I'm told you have something urgent to tell me. Uh, yes, my lord. As you instructed, I observed the attempt to lure our mysterious opponent into a trap. As you probably already know by now, it was a complete shit show. But I managed to use it as an opportunity to infiltrate the enemy base. Finally, some good news for once. So, who are they? I'm not sure, exactly. I couldn't see their faces, and I only heard a couple of first names. You infiltrated their base, but you can't tell me who they are. During the fight, they were masked. Then, in the base, I assumed the form of a mouse. And, you know, when I'm a mouse, I can't see clearly anything further than two feet away. It's all blurry. Don't waste my time on idiotic excuses! Did you learn something, or not? I, I'm sorry, my lord. Of, of course I learned something valuable. They don't seem affiliated with any other vampire group. They are vampire hunters, although there is a young vampire among them. Young? He killed Conrad. And that freak had the strength of a hundred-year-old vampire. Not to mention he wiped the floor with the twins, who are still too afraid to talk to me. She, my lord. It's a woman. And yes, I know her strength is baffling, but apparently they have a human that has blood with some unique properties that make vampires stronger. Like, insanely strong. What? They just discovered that themselves, my lord. He has some enzymes or whatever in his blood that affect vampires. Tell me everything you know. Apparently, his blood increases both speed and strength of vampires. It sounds to me like a vampire's body performs temporarily as if it were much older. How much stronger? I would guess she was turned 20 years ago. And she defeated that freak Conrad, so I would say three to four times stronger. But apparently, the potency of his blood varies. What do you mean? From what they found, the blood doesn't work that well if he's in distress. But it works better when... When what? Spit it out! It's gonna sound weird, but the blood is more potent after intimate or sexual moments with someone. That's the most peculiar thing I ever heard. I wouldn't believe it if she hadn't killed Conrad. Or swept the floor with the twins. They're not that powerful. But if she's as young as you say she is, they should have been able to rip her apart easily. That should be enough. Though it may take some time, only given that. Sarah! Yes, Master? Damn, this bitch is always lurking around. Take this girl with you, and find me that boy. In of course, Master. Should I send a team to retrieve him once I locate him? No. I don't trust anyone enough to not screw this up. He's too valuable. If a fight were to break out and he ended up dead, it would be the most idiotic thing to ever happen to a vampire. Moreover, if the story about his blood being less potent while stressed is true, then kidnapping him might be pointless. Then what's the plan? We will try to convince him to join us on his own. Do you think he will accept the offer? I do, but it'll take some time. But first, we need to find him. 
Tell all of our associates that this boy is not to be touched. Anyone- Sir, may I suggest something? That's what I keep you for. It may be better if we don't tell anybody about him. What? What if someone kills him? If we go around telling people to leave him alone, it'll just spark unneeded curiosity. Someone may catch on and do some digging of their own, or worse yet, leak that information to other vampire lords. As it is, it's nearly impossible that a vampire would encounter him by chance. Chivalrous of you, Alex. I imagine lesser men would use this as an opportunity to stare. You know, it's nice having you around to warn me about things like this. It makes me feel a little safer. into your head, okay? It was just a one-time thing. A moment. Thank you. 
Alex, I'm talking to you! Alex, are you listening to me? We're late! I'm not his girlfriend! What am I doing here? Here's a better question. Why are you still here?